spotted that. Hello, you're right. Uh, I've seen to have misplaced my microphone, so you're gonna have to deal with this, I'm afraid. Right, so today we've got something pretty cool. It's a box. It's not just a box. It's clearly not a box because it's not square, it's cylindrical. We've got a tube. Oh, we've got some tubes. Oh. This is from a very nice chap I've been talking to called Jason. So Jason is the director, owner, whatever you call it. I'm not up to clue on business names, but uh, he's the owner of MGS Performance. I will leave a link in the description. I always forget to do that, so I apologise. Um, but I will leave a link in the description um, to his page products. I like to find things that are good quality for as little as possible, which we all do, you know. We all live in the real world here. Whether it's JTEC for the tail tidies or the, the radiator, rich and radiator guards that I've put up. So I've not paid for this, I've paid for shipping and material costs. So I've not paid the full retail amount, so do bear that in mind, that might cloud my judgment slightly. Uh, just in the interest of, just in the interest of being open and honest like I like to be. What I said I'd do is I'd uh, unbox it, and install it and give you my opinions I'm gonna be honest if I don't like it I'll tell you again British company British made all handmade using some really really nice materials um, we'll get into the materials and stuff in a little bit but I can already I'm already actually quite quite wow look at that okay so good packaging that's cool look at that so much I can be able to see here so they're anodized as well which is nice look at that it's got enough in there, it's not going to collapse, you know, nothing's going to crush it. Very well packaged that actually. That's really cool. So, let's get this open. Ow. There we go. Right, check this out. They do lots of stuff. Engine, engine guards, spindle protectors, all that kind of stuff. Hopefully a decent set of instructions. Ah, yeah, pictures, cool, right. So we've got some proper instructions, nice, okay, so we've got pictures, consumer notice, faulty goods return policy, all that kind of stuff, and it tells you the torque figures as well. I mean, this is a spindle protector, it doesn't take Einstein to put this on, but it's nice that that's included, because if I show you, now this is the JTEC one for the tail tidy, which, I'm not going to lie, is a faff sometimes, that's all you get. You get a list, list of instructions on how to take the thing off, and you know, pictures man, pictures. Right, so, oh, you can just hear. Cool, right, so I'm, I'm already kind of impressed to take this off. So we do get what look to be zinc-coated nylock nuts, zinc-coated washer. You can tell it's zinc because it's kind of blue in the light. Again, I'll read out the full specs in a minute. That feels good. You've got a little bit of the logo in there. A little bit cheap looking, that, the way it's printed. But hey, again, like I said, I'm being honest. The machining on these anodized parts it's beautiful look at that it comes with this protector so the threads don't get bashed up in shipping that's really nice again look at the machining on that that's that's beautiful that's gorgeous that again the logo is a little bit cheap looking but we can forgive that i'm going to go into the specs now of what it's made from so this is a high density polymer now the again the, the the point of this is to be able to take the impact and let the bike slide some materials can be quite grabby if they're um plasticky cheap they can be quite grabby now this is designed it's very very smooth very slick it's designed to to take the impact and slide and the bar itself is um, 304 stainless steel which is designed to bend on impact again it's all about absorbing the energy of a crash and bending rather than shearing or snapping if you've got engine sliders for example and they're attached to your engine mounting bolts which they usually are if that were to shear off or snap the impact has just gone straight through into your engine into your frame and that could crack the frame it could crack the engine mount and then you're stuck with uh, a bolt that is snapped off inside and that's going to be a pain the idea of this type of material is that it bends takes the impact and it's almost like a cushion to take and absorb the impact so that the least impact gets through to the bike in the frame itself so these are these aluminium spaces here the anodized ones they are 
CNC machined uh, from marine grade aluminium. So hopefully that would mean less corrosion, lighter weight. And what's also cool is that he's made um, some spindle bobbins as well. Basically you can use a, a normal rear paddock stand, even though it's a single sided swing arm, you can use a rear paddock stand, which is cool. But there you go. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go out and install it, show you how simple it is to install these things. Let's crack on with that. Right, so we've got 13 mil, 13 millimeter nuts. Then you'll need a torque wrench, bang it up to 21, and then down one. So that's 20 newton meters there. Okay, so in order to actually get this in, we're gonna have to take out this retaining clip. Oh, that hit me in the bollocks, that. Oh, that's a safety pin to keep this nut on. However, if they've done it up properly, which I bloody well hope they have, there is a safety pin in there as well, so not really sure what that's for, to be honest. And then obviously you just locate this all the way through. Boom, look at that, that fits in really well. Nice. So, let's got this guy that goes on first, this anodized bit of aluminium. I'm not gonna clean this area before we do this because it's gonna, it's gonna cover that, which is kind of good for cleaning because you're not gonna have to worry about that too much. So, so this is a little tight, a little tight to get on over this, over the castellated nut there. However, once that's in, that ain't going anywhere, that. Then we've got the plastic part, and then the nut goes on. Push from the rear to keep it all in place. And we're just gonna just pull that. That one does though, so I'm gonna nip this up using the torque wrench. That's 20 newton meters. And that looks to be that. That is that, look at that. Cool. And I think that finishes off that part of the bike really nicely. What I do usually is I just whack over these with some ACF 50 just to make sure that the threads don't rust too much or get too bad. But there we go, look at that. And the other side. Beautiful. Well, that's that. There you go. So there we go, folks. Some really, really good quality kit there. Very impressed with that. And again, all UK made by Jason in his own time. And that looks really, really good, not gonna lie. The anodizing just, oh, it's beautiful. It just gives a bit of protection on the rear, you know. Easy enough to get on, five minute job. Sweet, thank you so much for watching. See you very, very soon, I'm sure. Until the next time, folks, sod them out, goodbye.